In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can link an Excel spreadsheet into an AutoCAD drawing file. Here I have an Excel spreadsheet with several different pieces of information in it, and I would like to bring this information into AutoCAD and display it as an AutoCAD table. To do so, I will begin by starting the table command here on the annotate tab. Then I will choose the option to go from a data link. If I have an existing data link, I can choose it. Otherwise, I've got to launch my data link manager. I'm going to create a new Excel data link. A dialog box appears asking for a name. I'll just simply name this one BOM for Bill of Materials, then click OK. Next, a dialog box opens up asking me for the Excel spreadsheet I would like to link to. So I will browse to find the spreadsheet. And here I have my electrical Bill of Materials file. Then I need to decide what do I want to link to, which sheet specifically inside the Excel spreadsheet. So I'll start with sheet one. Do I want to bring in the entire sheet or do I want to link to a named range? This is grayed out because the spreadsheet does not have a named range. I can also link to a specific range such as A1 to M9. There is a preview option, but since the spreadsheet was pretty large, it is not going to preview properly here. I'm going to go ahead and link to the entire sheet and click OK. I will click OK again. Then I will set up the table itself. In this case, I'm just going to specify an insertion point and click OK. Then I will click to place the table. As you can see, the table is pretty large, so I'm going to use the break option to break this into multiple columns. Looks like that will do nicely. One of the big advantages in working with a linked spreadsheet is being able to collaborate with somebody that does not know how to use AutoCAD. I may have a data entry person that is responsible for this spreadsheet and is constantly updating it. That person does not need to know how to use AutoCAD. Instead, I can link to that spreadsheet. And when that person updates their spreadsheet, I will get the newest information here. Each time this AutoCAD drawing file is opened, the newest information is going to be displayed. Let's take a look at what happens if the Excel spreadsheet changes while the AutoCAD drawing is open. Back in the spreadsheet, I'm going to change the name of the manufacturer for several of these items. Then I will save the file and close my Excel spreadsheet. I'll return back to AutoCAD. And as you can see in the bottom right corner of my screen, I have a notification that my data link has changed. I can go ahead and click the link to update and get the most recent information. We'll give it a moment to load here. And once it's done, you can see that the letters have all updated in here. So once again, if the spreadsheet has changed, we can update our AutoCAD drawing to show the most recent information. Let's look at making a change one more time. And I'll just simply change the quantity of the first item to a much larger number. And then once again, I'll save and return to AutoCAD. What if I'm not notified that there's been a change? I can still force the tables to update by selecting them, right clicking and choosing update table data links. As you can see, once that's completed, it does indeed bring the most recent information in. In addition to getting the most up-to-date information here, we can also modify the table in AutoCAD and have it update the original spreadsheet. For this to work, I need to make sure that the original spreadsheet is closed. Then I can make some changes. The trick to changing the table though is that all of the cells are locked. We can see this if I click on a cell, it indicates a link with a padlock. So in order to change information, we first have to unlock a cell. So I'll select the cell, right click, point to locking and unlocked. Then I can update the information. So let's say that this value is going to increase to 4,000. So I've updated the information here. Next, I need to select the table, right click, then select write data links to external source. 
This will update the spreadsheet. Now that the spreadsheet has been updated, we in turn get a message that indicates the spreadsheet's been updated. And I can go ahead and click Update Tables to get the most up-to-date information. And we can see that the 4000 is updated and it is formatted to match the rest of the table. If I were to open up the underlying spreadsheet again, we can see the 4000 value updated here as well. So once again, if linking to a spreadsheet, we can adjust the spreadsheet and have the updated information display in AutoCAD, but we can also edit the information in AutoCAD and update the underlying Excel spreadsheet as well. That concludes this look at working with linked tables in AutoCAD.